Hey guys, Lewis here, and I'm back with another episode of This War of Mine. You guys have actually responded quite well to the new series, and a few of you have said that you wouldn't mind me doing a recording session. So this will be the first session where I record maybe two to three episodes at a time, and we'll see how it goes from there. So last time, as you can see here, we just got raided, so that's unfortunate. Uh, nobody stole anything. Thankfully, uh, we came back with quite a lot of stuff, but Pavle did get slightly wounded, so that's unfortunate. So, what we'll start off with, uh, it is day three, people are hungry, so we are going to need to start cooking. So Bruno, that is your job, get up there. Uh, Pavle, you are slightly wounded, so we're gonna have you uh, rest for a little bit. We'll have you sitting there. Katya, you might as well meet up with the others in the kitchen. But before we do that, we need to make fuel. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have much fuel, so we'll go ahead and burn up three of our wood. Katya is slightly stick still, so that's unfortunate. She will rest later. Uh, it is also day three, so I'm hoping I'm hoping that the trader arrives. Actually, we should get that moonshine while we're at it. Uh, Katya, get downstairs, grab that moonshine so we can trade it if the trader shows up today. While Bruno cooks up. Uh, a nice meal for all of us. We'll start out with just basic meals so we can conserve our vegetables for later. Make free for now. Uh, hopefully we get enough stuff so we can make um, animal traps later. Uh, let's see, can we do that yet anyway? Let's see. Alright, can we make an animal trap? No, we need to upgrade our bench first before we do that. How much, what do we need to upgrade? We need a lot of components and two more pieces of wood. We have everything else we need, so I'll keep that in mind. So in the meantime, Katya, you get back upstairs. Bruno, why don't you go ahead and have the first meal since you did the cooking. Alright, now that he's done, he can go rest uh, for a little bit. Uh, Pavle, you can sit there for a minute, just relax. Katya, go ahead and have your meal. It's almost 10 o'clock, so hopefully we get a visitor soon. Uh, we do need to start thinking of making another bed, what with people getting injured now, so that's unfortunate. Pavle, let's have you eat something. Katya, you can just sit down right now, take a load off. Been scavenging in the nights. Alright, Pavle's good now, so he can just go down here. We'll have him check in on the radio, see if there's anything good. Anybody? Anybody arriving today? Alright. Can we make anything, Pavli? We can make a shovel. That would take up everything, basically. We do need to start worrying about a shovel. So let's go ahead and start making one. Doesn't look like anybody's coming to trade with us today, so that's unfortunate. I was really hoping the trader would show up. Oh well. If that's the case, we'll just head back to the abandoned cottage and we'll continue looting it for the parts we need until he shows up. Perhaps he will show up tomorrow instead. Okay, now we have a shovel that will make things a little easier for us in the future. We'll check in on the radio, see what we can find. Anything interesting on the news? Nope, still the same thing there. Sick. Alright, it's classical music. Still good weather. Nothing else. Alright, we'll just leave it on some classical music. Alright. What else can we make? Nothing really, we just used everything to make a shovel. But I really want to upgrade our workshop so that we can make uh, animal traps so we can start getting food that way. But that's gonna require quite a lot on our part. Let's get Katya down here so she can rest in a bit. Once Bruno's not tired, she will go ahead and sleep while Bruno... Uh, make something else. Actually, do we have any components left? If we do, we can make some more water. And uh, Unfortunately, no. We have no components left. Uh, that's really unfortunate. I was actually banking that the um, trader would show up today, which is unfortunate. Bruno should be getting up very soon, though, so that would be nice. As soon as he does, it looks like nobody's showing up. As soon as Bruno does get up, uh, we'll have Katya sleep and then we'll just end the day so we can start scavenging. Also, I want to go ahead and quickly apologize for the first episode, actually. Uh, when I recorded it, my mic was actually acting up, kind of, and I only heard heard the problems with it when I was editing it. 
Uh, so I came out a lot quieter than I normally am. So sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'll try to be a little more louder than I usually am. Uh, Alright, might as well just end the day. Nobody showed up. Let's go scavenging. We have enough weapons at home to defend ourselves now. So, Katya, let's have you scavenge once more. Pavle, you sleep in the bed so you recover from your wound. Bruno, you can guard. We still can go to other places, but I'm gonna go to the abandoned cottage first because there's still a lot of supplies there. We'll take nothing and just go. I thinking, I'm thinking on the fourth night we go and explore the shelled school. Now that we have a shovel, because I remember in one of my failed playthroughs, I went to the school and there was a lot of rubble, so you need a shovel to dig through that. So that's what, what I'm going to do. Oh, I forgot I've already moved everything out front, so let's grab everything from here. It'll be a quick scavenge night. Good, take the fertilizer back, but we don't have baits. Uh traps yet so we don't have to worry about that we do need a lot of components so we'll take a lot of these we'll take six stacks we'll leave the rest just in case we'll take a lot of wood with us and you know what i'll take the fertilizer back for when we do get um animal traps up and running and there we go these are the tactics everyone maximize your scavenging nights Let's hope we didn't get raided, because I would be very sad. I would be a sad panda. I don't know why I would be a panda, first off. Uh, it's just, actually, Sam had said that phrase yesterday while we were celebrating Christmas. Uh, and she was like, I'm a sad panda. <laughs> and I thought the phrase was so unusual. I've decided to steal your phrase, Sam. Huh. You can't stop me. And Bruno's glad that he has a book. Good. And we weren't raided. Good. Okay, there's a bio update from Katya. We will have her go. Actually, I don't know if Trader will show up today. We haven't encountered him just yet. So, Bruno, why don't you go down here, see what you can do. Katya, you go over here. Actually, no, stay up here for a little bit. Uh, we'll have you sit down for a while. Pavle, actually, we'll have Pavle do it. Okay, let's see. We'll have... We'll make a water purifier real quick and we'll start making some more moonshine because that's very important. So we need a filter. Go ahead and make that. Bruno, you go over there and wait on standby and then you can rest for a bit. We'll check the radio in a little while. 17 degrees Celsius, still warm out there, so that's good. Let's go ahead and put that filter in. Uh, yes, we don't have enough uh, fuel. I forget. I keep forgetting we don't have fuel, so let's go ahead and convert one of our wood into fuel. Katya does have a bio update. I'll read that in a bit. Alright, let's install this filter. Get ahead of our water situation. We only have six left, so this is why we need to uh, make rainwater collectors very soon, actually. I should have thought of that. Actually, yeah, that... Is that a rainwater... No, that's a distillery. That's Moonshire, so... I do need to make rainwater collectors soon, so that's gonna definitely slow down my upgrades. Uh, can we make one? Yes, we can. Okay, so upgrades will have to wait. We are going to make a rain water collector. Pavle, that is your job for today. Make us a rain collector. Alright, it's almost 10. So, waiting on Franco, the trader. I don't think I don't think the traders ever change. I think it's always Franco. Ah, there he is. Yes, Franco is here. Katya, run to the door with joy. Franco, our savior, is here. Have a look at what I brought. I will indeed. Alright, Franco, what do you got for me? A lot of wood, a lot of fuel. We could get ahead of our fuel situation. Very interesting. Well, we got some uh, nice diamonds here. What would you say if I were to take all your fuel? Very generous of, very generous of me. Oh, yes, I know. I'm quite generous. We'll take all your fuel. Uh, we'll take a lot of components. This is why Katya is the best at trading. Look at that. We get all of that just for two diamonds. That's going to definitely help us out. And then we can start working on other stuff. We'll go ahead and take that deal real quick. Trade with you again. So I can get a fresh view on things. We'll give you some moonshine. And how much would you give me for this moonshine? Well, if I take that much wood, that would be too much. We can have four stacks. 
and we get a couple components, we can get one extra component. Uh, we got plenty of sugar, so no need to buy that. If you were selling water, I'd buy it. Alright, deal. Thank you, and goodbye. This part of town is dangerous, but I'll try to come again. Alright, Katya, you go downstairs. Uh, we do have uh, filters, so let's go ahead and install one for now. So we can get ahead of our water situation now that we're running low. Everybody's hungry and tired, so we would should uh, concentrate on looking for food tomorrow. Uh, there's no more food at the abandoned cottage, so we'll have to look elsewhere. Let's check the radio real quick for any news. It's gonna be a short episode, honestly. I might I might bump up uh, the day, considering how long things are um, short are once I get situated. Uh, the days will go by pretty fast. Alright, there is new news. The city of Pogarin is suffering extreme shortages of even the most vital supplies. If this goes on, people will soon become scavengers, scouring the city for anything of use. Way ahead of you. Alright, music is playing. New. Nope. Classical music. Weather is still fine. Yep. Doesn't look like anything. Alright, let's listen to some more classical music. Pavle, you can go sit down for now. We should consider making an armchair. Alright, let's check bio update real quick. I've been around more than any of my friends and relatives. I've met famous people, readers found my interviews funny and incisive. But when I try to write down my experiences, I'm stuck. I want to find and hug my folks, not write about them. I wish I had seen... I wish I had been seeing them more often. Oh. Alright. Well, let's look at the upgrades. How much do we need? We... Actually, we can upgrade right now. Uh, should I, though? Yes, I will. I'll go ahead and upgrade. The sooner we upgrade, the better. Plus, you need to do something while Bruno's sleeping off the guard duty. We have just enough food for tomorrow, so we do need to find more food. I may consider going to the supermarket or even the shelled school. I think I'll go to the shelled school. I don't remember if they have food or not. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll, I'll change my mind if there's no food there. Let's get that moonshine real quick, and then you can go sleep. Bruno, you can go back upstairs for no apparent reason. What do we have right now? Very few components, very few wood. Alright, so, we may have to go back to the abandoned cottage one more time to grab all the wood we can get. Alright, let's end the day. Yeah, I may consider extending this an extra day and night cycle, so it'll be three days and three nights per episode. Uh, let's see, let's have Katya scavenge, Bruno you can guard, Pavla you sleep in the bed. Alright. Yeah, there's some food here, so we could go here. We'll explore there. Homeless people have taken refuge inside the building. Okay, they should leave us alone. They're just homeless people. We'll take the cr shovel, because I know there's some rubble piles to dig through. Unfortunately, that won't leave enough weapons at home, though. So, in case we get raided again, uh, all they have is the crowbar to protect themselves with. Which is unfortunate. I need to find another weapon. Or maybe I'll consider making a knife. Choices. I heard they had classes when the shelling started. Poor kids. Uh, that's that's terrible. If imagine like a elementary school, just like going through a shelling, the kids wouldn't have any idea what's going on. That would be terrifying. All right, let's see what we have. We're, we're looking for food. They said there was food here. There's a lot of noise. I'm hoping it's just rats. Yeah, it's just rats. So we're fine. We'll keep looking. More wood. Go upstairs. Rubble pile behind the door. We'll dig through this one because there's two down here compared to the one here. The shovel's doing good. Doing a good job. Well, it better be. It's a shovel. I mean, I spent most of my supplies making that one shovel. All right. Let's see what's in this pile here. There's a rubble pile up on the uh, roof of the building. Decent amount of supplies. We'll leave that here for now. 
Let's pry this door open. We made a lot of noise with the shovel anyway, and that's just a rat. There is some homeless people. Uh, I think they're in the basement, if I recall. Alright, door is through. Let's keep looking. Gotta find some food. More parts, we'll take that. Uh, leave the wood behind for now. So tonight we'll look for food, miscellaneous goods that we could use, uh, and a bit of supplies we can take back for crafting. Don't think I'll need electronic parts yet, so if I run into those, I'll just leave it behind. More scrap. Components! I keep saying scrap. This is not FTL, Lewis. Uh, get it together, Lewis. Don't mix up your series. Yeah, so I hope everybody had a good holiday. Um, my Christmas was actually pretty good. Spent uh, a lot of time with my friends and family. Had a good time all together. Uh. Alright, let's get downstairs. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? It's 12. We better be fast. We'll get those parts. Yeah, we gotta move. Some people here, I think. There's a hiding spot. They took my food again. I'm sorry. Well, if I find any food, I'm gonna have to take your food. There's a fridge. There's a fridge. What's that sound? It is me barging around doors. And, oh. Water. And a bunch of parts. <laughs> And wood. I thought there would be food here. Alright, I'll take the water. Uh, I remember there being food here, right? Let's look around. Maybe it's in their secret stash or something. Oh, there's a magnifying glass. Okay, that symbol right there is a steel symbol, so I'm not gonna mess with the homeless people here. It's a note left for someone. I prepared this secret stash behind the fridge, like you asked. I already put some stuff there so you can see if it works for you. Oh. Let us see the stash. Is it a bunch of cigarettes and moonshine? Let's be stealthy and sneak. What do we got? Ooh, food. Perfect. And alcohol. Uh, moonshine, I should say. Uh, pure alcohol is later on. So... Let's look around. We still got time. Let's go upstairs. They don't really care, seem to care, really. And as long as I don't steal from them or piss them off, we should be fine. This looks like a bathroom, so there might be medicine here. Yeah, there's medicine. Uh, that's a locked door. Unfortunately, I don't have my crowbar with me. We'll keep that in mind. There's some meds here. We'll take all their meds, because they don't care, actually. I think they would care. Alright, let's just fill up our backpack full of supplies, and then we'll be on our way. Uh, do we want the components, or do we want the wood? Where I got stacked. Do I leave? Yeah, we'll, we'll worry about supplies later. Run to the exit, Katya. Run! Run home, Katya! Pavle and Bruno are depending upon you. Yeah, hopefully we get Marco or someone. Or even Boris. I wouldn't mind having Boris, even though he's slow. Uh, he'd, he'd be able to mule a lot of stuff back and forth, though. Uh, you know what? I'll dig through these to make it easier for the next time. We should be able to get out of here before it's morning and the snipers arrive. Plus, we have a shovel, so it's not like we're wasting too much time. Dig, Katya, dig! Alright, go! Quick like bunny! Glad I have the shovel. Yeah, so am I. Let's hope the others didn't need it. Run, Katya, run! Alright, Katya is back. Alright, I think I'll do one more day and one night, and we'll see how long it's been. Come on, no bandit raid, no bandit raid. Good dice roll here. RNG gods be with me. Welcome to day five. 
If we get, get through the first week, then we're looking really good. Tonight I had a really good haul. Look what I got. Hey, the night was calm. Good. Alright. Let's have you sit down. Bruno, you're already in the kitchen. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and get some good cooking going. We do need to... We're not out of the woods yet. Our food situation is still pretty low. Alright, Pavle, why don't you come on up? I know you're hungry. I know. Actually, before you do, let's check the radio. Alright, what do we got? Start from the beginning here. Upcoming day should still be nice. Music. Most animals have disappeared from the streets. Keep that in mind when buying meat from dubious sources. Well, at this point, I think uh, as long as they get food, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm already thinking of uh, catching rats to get food. I mean, push to the limit. I don't think I would care where I get the food as long as it's food. Maybe, I mean, unless it's like have to resort to cannibalism, I would have to be pushed to the extreme to even consider that. And I still wouldn't, because that's that's terrible when you think about it. Okay, Bruno, go sleep. Katya, why don't you get something to eat next? Could start making another bed. Unless we can make something else. Yes, we can make improved traps now. Unfortunately, well, not improved traps, we can make traps. Uh, we need one more gear, which I don't have. Maybe the school has one. Uh, we'll go back for We'll go back to the school and see if they have anything. Uh, we can start boarding the shelter up, but we need a lot of wood for that. I'll make a filter for now. We need to get ahead of our water situation still. Alright, Katia, you're all set. Why don't you come down here? Uh, head into the rainwater collector room. Who here is... Okay, so technically Pavle is still awake. No, don't you walk away. Alright, make some water. How much moonshine do we have? Two. Alright, uh, we'll, we'll try to go for three, maybe four, before Franco comes back in a few days. Uh, we can make an armchair, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. What else can we make? Make a knife. I'll save that for later, though. Okay. We don't have enough wood to make another bed, do we? No, we only have eight, and I think it takes ten. I'm so forgetful. No, we can make, make another bed, actually. It takes eight pieces. It takes up almost everything we have, though. Alright. We'll make another bed. We'll plop it down right here. Run, Pavle. Run like you were born to do, and... Oh, the kids. Oh, the kids are here. Uh-oh. The kids are here! Guys, the kids are here. Oh, I hope they... I don't hope they ask for, like... Please give us all your stuff. Uh, let's see. What do you want, kids? Our mom is sick. Please help us. Uh... Oh, they want two bottles of medication. We live several blocks away from here. Our mom's very ill. She needs medications. Could you please spare any? Without your help, she will die. After daddy went to fight, we only have her. Well, we have only her, sorry. Don't know if that's a typo or if that's the way the they would say it. Please help us save her. Mm. Well, we have five bottles of meds. We still have three more for us. Ah. <sighs> I might need it. Alright. I'll do it. Alright. Get home safely, kids. Alright, so we got a bio update from Katya now. We just couldn't leave those poor kids without help. That would be callous. Yeah. Alright. Pavle is done making the bed, so you go to sleep now. At least they're content. They're happy. Those kids are very brave. They risk their lives walking around the neighborhood to save their mother. Yep. Alright, Pavle, you go upstairs. Hey, we still have food upstairs. Did someone not eat? Oh, Pavle, did you never eat? Shoot. Okay, Pavle, you eat. 
Okay, if I remember, Bruno ate, and then Katia ate. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, it is day five. Uh, I'm so short-term memory, guys. All right, uh, let's have Bruno go upstairs. Pavle, why don't you go rest for a bit? Uh, we already checked the radio. We can't make anything else, I think. Uh, we still ha we do have water, but I think I might save for now. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, let's make another bottle of moonshine. Alright, what does Bruno have to say? Meds are hard to come by, but we did the right thing. Yeah, that's true. We still have three bottles of meds, and we got a bunch of herbal meds if we need it. Uh, we still got some fuel. We'll go ahead and make another bottle of moonshine. Hope that Franco shows up again soon. Should show up either... Let's see, he showed up in day four, I think? Yeah, he showed up day four. Can we make another filter? If we can, we'll go ahead and make another one. No, we can't make anything. Alright, we'll end the day here. Okay, so Bruno is the best here. He can guard. Katya, we'll have you go scavenge. Uh, Pavle, you can stay in the bed. We can go back- Oh, Sniper Junction. Ooh. We also have the small apartment buildings. Owned by an elderly couple and their son. Son, they're still around, somehow managing to fend off looters. Probably have supplies like food and meds, but won't be willing to share them. We can try or steal or take them by force. Uh, I don't want to come to stealing just yet, though. We could go to the. If I remember, the quiet house is where there's an old couple and you can just steal from them. But. I'll leave that as a last resort. We could go to the supermarket for food, but right now we're focused on supplies. There's still apparently lots of food. Uh. Yeah, we'll go to the shout school. We'll just focus on getting supplies today. We'll leave the crowbar behind. There is that door we need to open, but I feel like we're going to get raided, so I'd rather have Pavle and Bruno armed that night. Katia will be fine. There's just homeless people at the school. We'll be fine. As long as we don't get hit by a sniper. Alright, this is going to be the last night before I end off the episode. This will be more of a experiment episode. Like, after this recording, um, I'll check the footage real quick, see how long it was, and then get back into the recording session to make another episode. Uh, we'll leave that board there for now. Can't get through there because I need a, a saw blade. And I think I saw that as barricaded before. So let's get all the way back to where the homeless people were and work our way from back there. Where are you going? Oh yeah, that's right. We can go for you. Spent all that time digging through the rubble and I completely forgot. Alright. Let's just barge on down there. They didn't seem to care that we were here. Only that one guy, so he's probably like the watchman. Yeah, see? Uh, that guy right there. Alright, so there, there's a vegetable garden there. We could probably steal vegetables, but there's a grate in the way, so we need a saw blade. Ooh, parts. Perfect. We'll take that. We might leave the electronic parts behind, but for now, we'll just take everything we can get. I'll check the fridge in a bit. Let's check for more gears, because we need gears. Perfect. Uh, quality roll-up. We might take that. Oops. Uh, let's keep looking. That's just stuff about their stash. That's their personal stash. Let's see. Where did I finish? What? You mean your story? Or something? Were you telling a story? Wait, let me check this door real quick. Is that a locked door? Yeah, it's a locked door. At least they have books. Okay, lots of supplies here. We'll go ahead and grab all these. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on the way back, so I'll I'll leave this here, and we'll keep checking. Uh, I think I already checked out. The fridge has a bunch of wood and components. Just one more minute. What do you mean, just one more minute? Were you talking to me? I don't think so. Alright, let's go back upstairs. Yeah, I might make a saw blade soon, so I can make quick, even quicker access in this school. What do we got here? Electronic parts. 
Once again, I don't think I'll need the electronic parts anytime soon, so I'll just leave it in a pile up front. There's still a lot of stuff in this pool to be looted, so I don't have the time to be running back and forth yet. Uh, take all those. Keep looking. It's over here. More stuff. We'll take that to finish our stack. Now, I remember there was something... Yeah, there's, there's like a pile up there. We should check that. components we'll leave the electronic parts that way we don't have to dig up the rubble here and waste time more components we'll take it all and bring it down I think we're short on wood the most at back at the shelter but components are what we need to even make anything so we will leave the quality roll-ups behind. We'll take an extra stack of wood. It's over here. Another stack of wood. Well, just one. Is there anything over here? What do I have? Uh, just the components that we need to fill up. Yep, yeah, we'll go ahead and take that. And we got a full inventory aside from the parts. But I think that's all the parts we can find currently in the school. So we'll go ahead and go home. And then we'll end off the episode. But I feel like we're going to get raided. That's going to be a thing. At the end of every episode, we're going to get raided. Because that's how I feel like things are going to be. I just hope I'm wrong about the raid thing. Day six. The others are still here, so that's a good sign. Ah, oh, we've been raided. What did I tell you? Pavle is starting to feel a bit unwell. Bruno got slightly wounded. Oh, this is not good. All right. Well, someone tried to rob us. They must have been been more scared than us so we managed to fend them off thankfully we were all armed bruno was wounded but the attackers didn't steal anything we are able to defend ourselves katya has been searching for supplies and brought back some interesting things all right so we're going to end off the episode here i'll check the footage see how long this particular episode is going to be if it's going to be too long then i'll go back to two days and two nights if not then i'll do three days and three nights so that's it for episode two of this war of mine Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.